This is the next bridge up from the last bridge we were at, down in uh, the main road at Drumkin. This is a wee maze of back roads now behind Drumkin. And uh, from here, you can follow them back roads and go to New Mills, or you can go to Clohan or Stranarlo, all over the place. But uh, just keep following the river on up. I think this is the last. I think this is the last major, like, public road bridge on the river. I think. Just going to take a wee walk down the river now, and uh, so we can have a look at these waterfalls. There's lovely, some lovely big waterfalls down here, uh, just down here a wee bit. I find this old roofing tile, there's writing on it. It's hard to read this, like R Ashton Buckley Flint, F-L-I-N-T-S-H And then I can't read it. F R Ash Ashton Buckley Flint something, <laughs> Flintstones, <laughs> I don't know. I was talking about, they're further down. <laughs> That's only the starter. That's the starter course. Nice though. <laughs> Look at that. Tiny wee flower, I'd say that's some kind of rare wee flower there. Look at all the size of it. Now we're just coming up to the famous waterfalls of Drumkin. <laughs> now, when we were kids, these uh, waterfalls had an almost mythological status because we'd always heard about these big waterfalls in Drumkin, but nobody had ever seen them. Nobody knew where they were. We just knew they were in Drumkin. And back then, Drumkin might as well have been Dublin. <laughs> it was so far away. But I never actually discovered these until my early 20s when I bought a motorbike and I was able to 
get about more I was a bit more mobile but uh they won't be as spectacular as they could be because there hasn't been any rain for the last week or so the, the water is very low but even standing here I can hear the rush of the water behind me over there so we'll go and have a look at these they are pretty cool now That's just the start of them there. Sort of. I just got to try and get down here now without breaking my neck. Just coming up to the big kind of the main waterfall now. <laughs> These rocks that I'm walking on are the slippiest rocks. Oh my god! I really fell into the river about ten times. <sighs> Gotta be so careful. So slippy. I'm a wee bit hungover this morning. I don't have the same spring in my The spring has been removed from my step. There's actually more waterfalls behind me here, it's further down. It's been, it's been years and years since I was last here. I almost forgot about these ones.
I can't believe I almost missed the main waterfall. I just came down here as an afterthought. Not like the waterfall. But it's been so long since I was here, I just forget. Look at the size of that pool there. I... That's just a that's just a sheer drop. I've got to admit, that's, that's pretty impressive. The entire river is just compressed through that little hole in the rocks, two feet wide. From, from that big massive pool, maybe one of the biggest pools in the whole river, to literally a little tiny little fucking plug hole of water. And then it goes down into that lovely ravine. You see a couple of wee trout showing there. That's a class wee gorge. I often wondered did the salmon ever get up past these places? Well I'm sure there's lots of people around who could tell me the answer to that question. Well for me anyway this is hands down the coolest spot that I've found in the whole river. But we'll say good luck to Drum King for now and we'll keep going. From here on in, the nature of the river begins to slowly change yet again, where it really does begin to live up to its name as a burn. Burn, by the way, is Scottish and Ulster Scots for a stream or a wee river. That's just for the handful of Americans who watch these videos. I actually think this is the last bridge on the Daly River that's on a public road. Because this is still the deal. And this is a bridge. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the last the last one. That road there will take you to Braca. And that road there 
right will take you to Bala Buffet in Drumkeen, and left will take you to New Mills. That's where we're going next. It's been roughly 25 years since I was last at Loch Deal. My first trip began after a long talk at the Ballandrape Bridge one evening, after a big discussion about the origins of our fateful river. Of course everybody had an opinion, but none that could be verified or believed. There'd have been the odd lie toilet at that bridge now. And then one day I happened to be in a bookshop in Letterkenny, and what did I find only an OS map of my own area. I think it was probably the first time I had ever found an ordnance survey map, and I was immediately fascinated by it, and I began unfolding it all over the floor for a better look. I mind feeling like a bird, looking down on all the wee familiar names in the roads and all the wee towns and villages in my area. And like a shot, I started tracing the Burndale River back to the hills around Cark, trying my hardest to memorise as much detail as I could before the poor woman in the shop finally lost patience and threw me out. So with all this new information, myself and a pal from the village set off on our bicycles one day with tents and backpacks determined to find the start of our local river. <coughs> that was a long, long cycle, and when we started getting close to the law, we stopped to knock on doors to ask for directions. But every door we knocked on, nobody had ever heard of the law, which didn't give us much hope. I remember knocking on one door, and this young fella came out and answered us with an Australian accent. When he went back into the house to get somebody with a slightly more local accent, me and my pal looked at each other and started shaking our heads, thinking are we ever going to find this fucking lake? <laughs> Finally, we reached the end of this dirt track and there was a couple of old farmers working the bog and they were able to tell us where to go. I'll always mind the look on their faces when we told them where we'd just come from and where we were going. They were nearly as excited as we were. And so eventually we found it and spent the night camping. It was probably the first time we'd ever gone camping properly, as opposed to the shanty huts me and my neighbours used to build in the garden, and then torture our poor parents into letting us sleep out. And then a couple of years later I repeated the very same journey, again on push bikes, with a different pal this time, only this time we had a good supply of intoxicating stimulants to keep our spirits up. And not to mention the fact, I sort of knew where I was going this time. On about that last bridge. Or an upper bridge, yeah. <laughs> and uh, technically, this is a public road. Hello. She's wee now, boy. I'm getting weird. <laughs> Things are getting a bit off road. I just put the shock through the NCT, you know, I got the wheels aligned and all that there. Oh, great. Wrecked again a couple of weeks later, driving around in these fucking roads. It's a fucking 4 before I want. Well, one of them big monster trucks with massive wheels on them. Right, ah, Jesus. On the deal, go on the deal. End of the line. Now we walk. Where? Fuck it, sure. <laughs> As I probably already said, it's been about 25 years since I was here, this spot. And the last time I got to here, we just basically headed over there, over the hill, and we eventually found the lake. But uh, of course there was no fucking forestry there back then. Typical. Typical! So, uh... One of the guys I met in the car said follow these pylons out. So, uh... I'm gonna follow them pylons out. <laughs> I can feel a disaster coming on here. I, I can... Tired. A lot of drink last night. I've been in the ghost since half eight this morning. Nearly fell into the river ten times. Broke my microphone. I'm not really in the mood for a hike through the fucking forest. Uh. 
Ah, here we go, here we go. I'm starting to get very dry. Hey. I might have to drink that water very soon, the way things are going. Uh, I tell you, the water I drank out of that stream didn't taste too fucking hot. I didn't drink very much of it though, just as, as a precaution. A couple of mouthfuls just to take the edge off. Hope we don't start vomiting. We have company. That dot on the horizon is something, people, it's moving, whatever it is. I don't know, right there. I mean, yeah, definitely. Or else it's stags or deer or... But one of the people in the cars did say, he was just after bringing his daughter back from here. They were out for a walk. So like, maybe it's a thing to come out here now. <laughs> maybe we started it. I don't know. It wasn't a thing 25 years ago anyway. I don't know, that's people there. Maybe it's, maybe someone's, maybe someone has a bog up there. Maybe they're left in turf or foot in turf or. Maybe it's hallucination. Maybe that water I drank. Maybe I'm just going off my fucking head. Well, there she is, the start of the Burndale River, Loch Deal. I was so busy watching these boys come off the hill, I didn't see it till the last minute. But there you are, that's the start of the Burndale, boy. Do you mind if I put you in my little film I'm making? Oh Christ, I have no money, I didn't bring any money out here today. I'm doing it in wee stages and this is the last stage today. <laughs> and we come up here, we cycled up from Bondred when we were kids. We camped out here and that's my first time back in 25 years. But, <laughs> where are you from yourself? Uh, I'm going over the road. Right. Where's your mouth? Where's the camera? Well, well, there's only a other week, so. There's a fish up there. There's a fish up there. There's a fish up there. You might squeeze on between there. Yeah. That's where we got in before, isn't it? Aye, that's where we got in before. Aye, there's, 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 there's decent enough brown trout on there. That's our brown trout. Aye. Well, we might wait too. We might get in the film and, and uh, get some <laughs> dinner. And the trout. <laughs> I don't know. I think you're, you're pushing your luck now. <laughs> oh, fuck. You soaked? After all this fucking day. <laughs> After all that, you're buried. Hi, I, 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 I nearly fell under the burn deal today, so you're, you're doing all right. So the river, we met a wee man down there where we parked. Watch your we, back, watch your back. The first, the first time we were out here, we were camping over on that side, and there was a JCB up in the bank, and, and, and we couldn't figure out why is there a JCB or something up there in the middle of no one. Now we know, <laughs> now we know why. Yeah. Well, there's fish under it, but I would say they're safe enough for me. <laughs> Right, hey. Hi, All the best. Nice talking to you. Good luck. There you are now. And finally, here we are at the end of our journey, after 25 odd years, back on the shores of Loch Deal, the source of my childhood river. 
and as I stand here gazing wistfully into the distance with a faraway look in my eyes, trying to convey a sense of thoughtful contemplation so that you, the viewer, might think that I've actually gained some valuable insights from all this. But no, because we all know there's absolutely fuck all going on inside that demented head. And it's about to get a lot worse. Now, do you mind at the end of the last video I made, when I made some rash unfounded claims about some kind of amazing discovery? Well, keep watching, because this is where things start to get interesting. And by interesting, I mean totally fucking confusing. Now you might think that wee river that I'm drinking out of is the source of the deal, as in the actual start point where the river leaves the law. After all, why else would I be filming it? Well, that's exactly what I thought too, saying as it's the only river that could be seen draining the law. But I was wrong. If I'd have bothered to check the map, I'd have seen that that wee stream leaving the loch is actually called the Lona. And the Lona runs into the Swilly, near the crossroads at a place called Drumnaha, on the fun town to Letterkenny Road. Now I had always just assumed it was the deal, even though I knew it was heading off in the complete wrong direction, but since it's the only water you can see leaving the loch, it was an easy enough mistake to make. It's funny, but for a man who loves maps so much, you'd think I'd spend a bit more time studying the damn things before going these trips. Anyway, I never made this startling discovery until I was back home and working on these videos, and so what choice had I but to retrace my steps and go all the way back to get one shot of where the deal leaves the law. After all, that was sort of the whole mission to begin with. Dear God, hey, you don't see a place for 25 years and then you see it twice in the space of a week. But this time I made sure to have a good look at the map and I even checked it on Google Earth as well, just to be sure there was no mistakes. But keep watching now, because the crack's just getting started. <laughs> We're just coming up to the mouth of the burn deal now. Not the mouth, aye. No, the source. The mouth is where it runs into the sea or another river. This is the source. <laughs> so prepare yourselves. This is what it's all about. This is the biggest anticlimax you're ever gonna fucking see. Dun, 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 dun. That's it. That's the start of the burn deal. That wee boggy marsh seeping out of the lake. <laughs> what did I tell you? That's it there. Right there, boy. Start of the deal. The end of our exciting adventure. runs, just drips, it just fucking... Well to be honest, in all honesty that looks like it's running into the fucking lake, not running out of it. Right, well that can't be fucking it then. Lord Jesus. But that's what it said on the map. Or Google Earth. Google Earth. I Google fucking earthed it. That's what Google Earth said. Coming out of that wee pool. Coming on there. But that's running back into the lake. So what on the fuck is going on? This has to be investigated. I'm starting to get all my fucking tits. <coughs> right, so. That's it. The end of the journey, start of the Burndale River, here, even though <laughs> it's clearly running into the lake. <laughs> That's feeding the lake, it's not running out of it, but on the map and on Google Earth, this is the spot, this is my second time back, just to get this fucking shot. Ah, so, I'm going to follow this up over the ridge and see where it starts to run down the hill. Because that will be the start of the Burndale River. <laughs> ah, well. So off I went, 
up over the ridge and away from the loch to find the source of a stream that would turn into the deal. And it didn't take very long to find this wee marshy depression, which is pretty much exactly what I expected to find. You see, not all rivers start off from loss. What you're seeing here, this wee marshy green bit, is a fairly normal way for a river to start. And it's nowhere near the loch. I've come across this loads of times in the hills and mountains, and even if I was never here before and I knew nothing about this area, I would still recognise this as the start of a river. And in wet weather there's a good chance this would actually be full of water. This is just basic secondary school geography. So all I had to do now is keep following this and see does it eventually become the deal. Because if it did, then the map is wrong. <coughs> and so I kept following this wee ditch and sure enough it was the deal. That wee stream there is just a spring that runs back into the loch. It's not a river coming out of it. Here I'm pointing the camera right at the spot where the map says the river starts, but as you can clearly see, the land is running down towards the loch. There's no way that stream can make it out without cut cutting a channel for itself. Do you see a channel? No, neither do I. Let's have a wee look at Google Earth here. Right, let me try and explain this now, right? There's Loch Deal. And that's where I came in there, followed the, that wee gap through the forestry. And you, that's the Deal River, it runs along there. I followed that up and no problem so far, that's grand. And this little kind of boggy pool here is, uh, this, this is saying that this is the start of the river. And the map says that as well. But I'm telling you now. That's a wee spring there, and it's all that's doing is running back into the loch. That's where I was standing, that's where I was talking to the camera and flipping out, because the river was going the wrong way. <laughs> right? That is not, that, that is, starts there and it runs back into the loch. From here up here, it's all uphill, right? Now, the last time I checked, water can't run up a hill. So for that water to leave, it would have to cut a channel. Now that looks like a channel there, that's what I thought, I just glanced at it and thought, oh that must be it. Look, it even says it is, but it isn't. That's nothing, that's just a bog, a bit of a bog banking. Now, so I walked up here with the camera, and then we green marshy bits that I was saying is the start of the deal. So there's one coming down there, and there's one there, look, coming down there. And they meet at that point there. And then it comes on down, and then it, you, around here then you start to get running water. And that's the deal there. So you could nearly say at the point where them two wee marshy depressions converge, you could nearly say that there. Let me zoom in a wee bit. I reckon that's the start of the deal. But the map, the map does have this one marked on it. That's fair enough. The map's right there. But there's another one here. And they come down and they start the deal. But th this is nothing. That is not the start. The Burndale River doesn't start at Loch Deal. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and there's the Lona. Look. Oh. See the wee deep channel it's cut for itself to get out? You see? That is the Lona boy. So. That should be called Loch Lona. Anyway. It was probably called Loch Deal just because of its close proximity to the start of the River Deal and the fact that the Deal is a far bigger river than the Lona. It's a much, much longer river with a far bigger volume of water and it passes through towns and villages, whereas the lonely wee Lona really is just a stream or a wee burn. Now, as I said before, I don't want to upset anybody. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this, but the map is wrong. <coughs> and the law has the wrong name. Right boys and girls, uh, I'm just going to get ahead of myself and make a few wee amendments to this map because uh, I'll not sleep tonight if I don't get this sorted out. We, can, we can't have faulty maps running about Donegal and uh, confusing people. And, uh, you know, how long has this been going on? You know, we need to get this sorted tonight. Right, so uh, what are we doing here? Right, part of that stream has to go and part of it can stay. We need to get rid of the part that isn't there. That makes sense now. We can keep the part that is there. I think that makes sense. I think. That bit there has to go. See this bit here? That's, that's, that's 100%. That can stay. No bother at all with that bit. But that, that bit there, that has to go, right? 
let's let's give her let's give her a wee rub of that shock now. Just just a wee rub now. You don't have to go mad or anything. Just a wee. That's it. That's it. That hundred percent. The spring. That's that's grand. The spring's a hundred percent. The spring can stay right. Next job now, boys. Next job is uh, we need to get a wee blue pencil and we need to draw on where the wee river's gonna be. You have to be careful, careful. You need a steady fucking hand for this now, boys. It has to go in there, so it does. We change this yoke now. And click up here. Get a wee pencil and steady, steady. Careful now. Perfect. Couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. That's it now, boys. If you two wee box coming down there now. That's the start of the deal. That's that, that, that's that part done. Boys, we're on the pegs back now. We're going to be home early. I'm telling you. Now, next job now. The last man in front of me made a balls of this. And now I have to rub this out. And fucking right. So just we'll just rub this out. No need to panic. Nobody will notice. Just just, just rub it out. Rub it out. Just give it a wee rub. You don't have to go mad. Just give it a wee, wee brush there. That's, and then we'll uh, click on this wee yoke here. And then we'll just uh, change the name. That's it. Simple enough, boys. Simple enough. So we'll just call her L O W N A L O L O N A. We'll just put that in the middle there. Uh, just make it a wee bit bigger, so people can see it. So I know where to get that. There we see that, boys. Boys. Are there any jobs going in that place where they make maps in Dublin? Hey, I might give them boys a ring. I think I could fuck them. I reckon I'd be great at this. Well, that's it now, boys. I reckon that's. You must take the rest of the week off, boys, because I have the whole fucking thing sorted. That's it, boys. Good luck. I understand this kind of thing is highly controversial, and there's people out there who might get upset at the mere suggestion of changing the name from Loch Deal to Loch Lona. So I've very generously complied a short list of other names that I feel would be both appropriate and acceptable to even the biggest diehard Loch Deal fans. Have a wee look and see what you think yourselves. I'm sure there's something there we can all agree on. So folks, that's pretty much it from me. I hope you've enjoyed these wee videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for lots more of the same. You can argue away now among yourselves in the comments below. Or maybe you might know somebody who works for the Ordnance Survey of Ireland and you can let them know I've done a wee job for them. <laughs> I don't want any money for this, I just do it for the love of it. I'm away now anyway to buy a new suit and a new pair of shoes for all the award ceremonies I'm going to be invited to after making this amazing discovery. I'll see you in the red carpet. Good luck to you.